Hello and welcome to this session where we will be understanding about the database. So in Appian we already have a database connected that is the MariaDB and if I will click on these navigation dots I can see this cloud database. So if I will navigate myself to this cloud database so it will take me to this MariaDB environment. Right, so it's our choice and it depends on our client also. If uh, uh, we wanted to use this database, then we can. But if we don't want to use this database for the security purposes or any other reason, then we have also the feasibility to go to the admin console and add a new database. So let me tell you how we can do that. I just need to get into this admin console. And if I will scroll down, then I can see this data sources, right? So I can click on this new data source and I can add whatever data source is there. For example, there is a external data source, which is MySQL. Then um, I can give some name. I can um, put the username and password where whatever I have set it at that place. And then I can select that it is MySQL and then the connected string. So this is what we want. This connected string I want and uh, my database provider will give me this string and then I can put it and test the connection. But in this scenario, we will be understanding this database, which is MariaDB. And we have all the options available, whatever is uh, available in other databases, like we can create a table or a view or a procedure or functions, right? So this is uh, quite helpful and uh, we can directly jump into the SQL, which is this one and write, start writing queries. But if we don't want, we have also the options to use uh, automatic features like we can create a table by uh, just uh, putting out all the table name and all the details required and hit the submit button and the table will be created. So we have few options. Let, let's explore that options and we will see how we can create a table using that options. So for my applications which I have created or uh, for the application this one expense tracker we will be needing some database table right because this uh, expense form which we have created we need to write it into the db right so for this we need some database table so we can store the data inside that table right so we need to create a table for that and what is a database table database table uh, these are the tables which holds all the data right in any of the database we have these structures like we have tables views so tables is used to store the data and there are different types of table like the data tables or um, the metric tables right for so there is a difference between both of them as uh, the data table is the table where we will be writing all the data and it will store right the data will be stored there we can use it we can read we can write and whatever we wanted to do and the metrics table is a table uh, for example there are tables where data is already there and when i say the data is already there it means the client will provide me the data right for example uh, i will create an application and uh, let's say this expense tracker only and i want to fill out some drop downs right so that drop downs the user will not fill out right so these categories is there gadgets home learning so who will provide me these categories my client will say that uh, i have these categories like gadgets home and learning so i need to create the tables and i need to manually write all the details provided by client and i will use that table to show the data inside my ui inside my interfaces right so that table we have right so right now what we need we need uh, the table where i can store the details the whatever the expense i'm submitting i want you to store that so for that i will create a data table and uh, i just need to click on this new button right so this is the feature right we, we can click on this button and we can directly create table but if we don't want that we can also write sql queries right so let's fill out all the details required and let's see what is required here we have the table name so we need to put the table name here and one more thing we need to make sure because we are using application prefix everywhere in the database also we need to use application prefix right so we need to use et and then expense table so i will name this as et and underscore and expense let's say data right and uh, we need to fill all these details about all the columns the column name column type column length and default values if there will be any null or any auto incremented or primary keys right 
because we are not writing sql queries then we need to configure all these things right and this will be very easy to fill all these details and one more thing uh whenever we need to design some application right for example we are designing this application now so always we need to build the database structure first right because we need to design the database model then only we will proceed with the application right because that is the very first thing to do whenever we are starting with some new application then the very first thing is designing the database part which is here we need to design all the database table with the relationship primary keys foreign keys and whatever the database structure is we need to decide that we need to build something and then we need to build the database structure after building the database structure we will move forward with the application like in appian we need to create cdts for that and other objects we can create after that so we will going to do the same thing first of all we will be creating this table and uh, i need to create the primary key so i will name that primary key as expense id expense id and then um, expense amount after that expense details right so these are the details amount and details expense amount and expense details i am writing it here inside my interface and also i am writing expense category so i will create one this one i will use this one so these three columns i need to fill the data and one more thing we need to make sure because whenever we are designing the database tables then there are few best practices which we need to follow for example there are few columns which we always build right because that columns will help us in various things so what are these columns these are the five columns which we always build in any kind of data table right so i will click on go this is how i can add more, more columns into this table and what that columns are the columns is created by created on updated by and updated on and is active so these are the columns which we always build right because uh, whenever we are writing some entry into a table then we need to make sure that uh, we are writing the date time and uh, who created that entry we need to write that details into the table so for audit purposes also for the user uh, also to show these details on the interfaces if needed or uh, some other details grid then we can use this info and uh, whenever we are updating something then we need to make sure that we are updating the updated by and updated on and uh, one more thing which is is active so why we are using this is active because for example we wanted to hide some data to filter out some data which is coming from this table then we can modify the is active column we can make it as a tiny integer or which is like a boolean only and we can make it as a true if needed if not needed then we can make it as a false so we don't have to delete the entry itself right so let's select the data column types so this is a integer integer expense details is a varchar and category is same created by is also same created on as date and updated on is also a date updated by is again same and is active is a tiny integer this one i need to give the value as 1 and updated on i don't have to give any value updated by 255 255 or whatever will be the preferred limit we can set that right i'm just directly putting 255 and here is the expense details so i can make it as 500 maybe the details are quite long here i can mention that uh, this is a integer of length 15 let's say and this is id of length or we can make it to 20 if needed just for testing purpose we are doing this and uh, i can make this auto incremented because this is a primary key automatically the index is selected as a primary key because in any of the table the primary key is the mandatory thing whenever we are writing some data or whenever we need to update some data then we need this primary key right because if we don't have the primary key then it will create a new entry in the table if we are trying to write some data if we have the primary key then we can also update the data 
so it's a unique identification as a like in appian we call this as a identifier and it is a must thing right we have to do it and the other columns we can store null if the value is not there right so i'm doing this because if i will try to write uh, empty values inside this table then um, it will give a error if these this is not null if if this is already marked as null then the error will not come so i have created the table name the column configuration i just need to click on this save that's all so you can see the table is created i'm inside the structure and I can see all the column configuration, the table name, and all the details, right? And you can see this is my primary key, which is the expense ID. And now, if I wanted to see the values or the data inside this table, I can go inside the browse. I can see that there is nothing. Inside the SQL, I can execute any queries or whatever I wanted to do. The edit, insert, update, whatever. I can write it here or I can choose these options to help with the query. And in the search, I can search the data. If there is a lot of data and here, we have to search with some data elements and we can put it here and click on search. And insert is the option which, which can help us to insert some data manually, right? For example, we have to write some data here. So I can write that uh, the expense amount is 100 and this is for testing purpose. I can mention it as a test. And if I will try to hit go it will directly insert some data so you can see in the browse we have expense id as one and amount and details and i can also make is active as one which is true and uh, export as export and imports are are for deployment thing right? we will discuss about the deployment later on and uh, operations we can create some operations like we can change the table name we can rename we can copy delete and uh, change the structure or empty truncate or delete the table right so all these features we have we can use these options and utilize all these options right and now my table is created now i need to go in my app and designer and i need to create a cdt for this because we will be using the cdt to refer to attach this this particular table right and uh, that cdd is called custom data type so that we will cover in next lecture